It was a chilly autumn night, and the moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the quiet town. The fast food restaurant, once a bustling hub of activity, now stood abandoned and decrepit on the outskirts of town. Its faded sign swung in the wind, creaking ominously. Legend had it that strange things happened on the night shift, and curious souls were often drawn to the eerie atmosphere. James, a young college student in need of some extra cash, had recently taken a job as the night shift worker at the long-forgotten fast food joint. His friends had warned him about the rumors of ghosts and mysterious happenings, but James brushed them off as silly tales meant to scare newcomers. Little did he know, he was about to experience the supernatural for himself. As the clock struck midnight, James found himself alone in the dimly lit restaurant. The hum of the flickering fluorescent lights was the only sound that pierced the silence. He began his routine tasks, wiping down counters, restocking supplies, and checking the equipment. However, an unsettling feeling gnawed at him, and he couldn't shake the sensation that he was being watched. As he worked, James heard faint footsteps echoing through the empty dining area. His heart raced as he turned around, expecting to see a co-worker or a customer who had wandered in by mistake. But the dining area remained deserted, the tables and chairs untouched. Trying to calm his nerves, James continued his tasks, but the strange occurrences escalated. The friar suddenly sputtered to life, its flames dancing wildly despite no one being near the controls. The cash register drawer popped open on its own, the chime ringing out as if a customer had paid. His unease grew with each inexplicable event. Then, out of the corner of his eye, James caught a glimpse of movement near the entrance. He turned quickly, and his breath caught in his throat. A translucent figure, resembling an old employee in the restaurant's uniform, stood there, staring at him with hollow eyes. Frozen with fear, James could hardly believe his eyes as the figure seemed to beckon him forward. Trembling, he took a hesitant step toward the ghostly figure. It began to glide away, leading him deeper into the restaurant. The air grew colder, and the lights flickered more erratically. James's heart pounded in his chest, torn between fear and an overwhelming curiosity to uncover the mystery. The specter led James to a back room, where an old, dusty journal lay atop a forgotten desk. The journal's pages were filled with handwritten entries, recounting the memories of the fast food joint's former employees. One entry detailed an accident that had occurred years ago, during a late night shift much like this one. The employee had been alone, just as James was now, and a faulty piece of equipment had malfunctioned, causing a fatal accident. The ghostly figure turned to James, its gaze filled with a mixture of sadness and gratitude. Without uttering a word, it slowly faded away, leaving James standing alone in the room, clutching the journal. As the sun began to rise, James emerged from the abandoned restaurant, his mind racing with the surreal events of the night. He knew he had experienced something beyond explanation, something that had brought closure to a restless spirit. From that day on, he never doubted the tales of the spooky night shift at the abandoned fast food joint. And while he never returned to work there, he carried the memory of that haunted night with him. A reminder of the unknown mysteries that could be lurking in the shadows. In the weeks that followed, James couldn't shake the memory of that eerie night. He found himself drawn to the journal he had discovered in the abandoned fast food restaurant. The stories within its pages were haunting and tragic, filled with the voices of those who had once worked there. He became determined to uncover the truth behind the accidents that had taken place and to honor the memories of the employees who had lost their lives. With the help of local archives and a few well-placed inquiries, James began piecing together the events of that fateful night. He learned about the faulty equipment that had led to the accident and the subsequent closure of the restaurant. It turned out that the ghostly figure he had encountered was indeed the spirit of one of the employees who had died that night, trapped between the world of the living and the afterlife. 
Driven by a newfound purpose, James shared his findings with the town and organized a memorial ceremony for the employees who had lost their lives. The ceremony brought together families, friends, and even some former customers of the fast food joint, all eager to pay their respects to the long forgotten souls. The abandoned restaurant, once a place of mystery and fear, transformed into a site of remembrance and closure. As time passed, the town began to heal from the wounds of its past, and the memory of that spooky night shift became a symbol of resilience and unity. James found himself no longer haunted by the ghostly encounters, but instead empowered by the role he had played in bringing peace to restless spirits. He became known as the one who had dared to face the unknown, and had turned a chilling tale into a story of healing and redemption. The abandoned fast food joint, though still empty and decaying, took on a new significance. People would pass by and remember the events that had transpired there, not as a source of fear, but as a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and the power of compassion. And so, the tale of the spooky fast food night shift became a story passed down through generations. A story of a young man who had turned darkness into light and had shown that even in the most mysterious and unsettling circumstances, there can be hope and resolution. Years went by, and James's involvement in uncovering the mysteries of the abandoned fast food joint became a source of inspiration for many. He was invited to speak at local events, sharing his journey of discovery and the lessons he had learned about facing the unknown with courage and empathy. The town itself began to transform. The once deserted restaurant, once seen as a place to avoid, began to attract visitors from near and far. People came not only to hear the story, but also to pay their respects and to experience a sense of connection with the past. The building, with its weathered walls and faded sign, became a symbol of the town's resilience, reminding everyone that even in the face of darkness, there was always a chance for redemption. James continued to honor the memories of the employees who had lost their lives that night. He established a scholarship fund in their names, helping young individuals pursue their dreams and aspirations. The spirits that had once wandered the halls of the abandoned restaurant seemed to find solace in the knowledge that their legacy lived on, not as a haunting presence, but as a force for positive change. Over time, the restaurant itself underwent a transformation. The townspeople came together to restore the building, turning it into a small museum and memorial. The journal that James had discovered was placed on display, along with photographs and artifacts from the restaurant's heyday. The museum became a place for reflection and education, reminding visitors of the importance of safety and vigilance in the workplace. On the anniversary of that spooky night shift, the town held an annual event called Harmony Night. It was a celebration of unity, a night where residents gathered at the museum to remember the past, celebrate their community, and appreciate the progress that had been made. Lanterns would be lit, illuminating the darkness and casting a warm glow on the building that had once been a source of fear. As for James, he never forgot the night that had changed his life. He continued to visit the museum, sharing stories with those who were curious about the past. His journey had transformed him from a skeptical young man into a symbol of courage and compassion. He had proven that even the most chilling tales could be rewritten, and that understanding and empathy could turn a haunting experience into a source of strength. And so, the tale of the spooky fast food night shift became a story of transformation and redemption. A reminder that even in the darkest corners, there was always a glimmer of light waiting to be discovered. As the years went on, the story of James and the abandoned fast food joint became a part of the town's lore, passed down from one generation to the next. Newcomers would hear the tale with wide-eyed wonder and old-timers would nod knowingly, having lived through the transformation themselves. 
the once abandoned restaurant now thrived as a hub of community activity. It had been renovated into a charming calf, embracing its history while offering a cozy and welcoming atmosphere. The walls were adorned with photographs and memorabilia, each piece telling a part of the story that had unfolded within those very walls. The legacy of the scholarship fund continued to grow. Many of its recipients went on to achieve remarkable things, their successes a testament to the power of turning tragedy into positive change. Every year, a scholarship recipient would share their story during the Harmony Night celebration, reminding everyone of the impact that James and the spirits of the past had made on their lives. The town's annual Harmony Night had become a beloved tradition. People from neighboring towns and even other states would travel to join in the festivities. Lanterns would be released into the night sky, symbolizing the release of fear and embracing the light of unity. Music, laughter, and the clinking of glasses would fill the air as people celebrated their shared humanity. James had settled into a fulfilling life, content with the knowledge that his actions had transformed a haunted past into a story of hope. He had become a beloved figure in the town, not only for his role in the restoration, but also for his unwavering kindness and willingness to help others. His journey had taught him that even in the face of the supernatural, the real power lay in the connections we forged with one another. And so, the once spooky fast food night shift story had turned into a heartwarming legend, a reminder that even the most chilling tales could be rewritten with bravery, compassion, and a willingness to confront the unknown. The town itself had transformed, not just physically, but spiritually, embodying the lesson that darkness could be conquered with light, fear with understanding, and tragedy with redemption. As the years continued to pass, the town and its transformed fast food joint became known far beyond its borders. It became a place of pilgrimage for those seeking inspiration and a reminder that individuals have the power to change their circumstances and rewrite their stories. The calf within the renovated restaurant had become a gathering place for all walks of life. Locals and visitors alike would sit together, sharing stories, sipping coffee, and marveling at the journey that had turned a once abandoned building into a beacon of hope. The walls displayed messages from people who had found solace and strength in the tale of the spooky night shift and the transformation that followed. The town's Harmony Night continued to flourish, evolving into a week-long festival celebrating not only unity and remembrance, but also the arts, culture, and the spirit of community. Musicians, artists, and storytellers from all over would come to participate, their talents adding to the vibrant atmosphere and spreading the message of resilience far and wide. James, now a respected elder in the community, found himself passing on the lessons he had learned to younger generations. He would sit by the fire during Harmony Night, sharing the story with children who listened with awe, their eyes wide as they imagined the ghostly encounters and the triumphant journey that had followed. The scholarship fund that James had initiated continued to thrive supporting countless individuals in pursuing their dreams. Many of these individuals, now successful in their own right, would return to the town to share their stories of triumph and give back to the community that had believed in them. As time went on, the town itself underwent a renaissance, drawing in new residents who were inspired by its history and sense of unity. The once abandoned buildings surrounding the renovated restaurant were repurposed into shops, galleries, and small businesses, breathing new life into the area and turning it into a vibrant and thriving neighborhood. And so, the story of the spooky fast food night shift remained a powerful reminder of the potential for transformation that exists within us all. It taught that even in the face of the unknown and the supernatural, courage, empathy, and community can reshape the narrative and turn darkness into light. 
The once creepy tale had evolved into a living testament to the boundless human spirit, continuing to inspire and uplift all those who encountered it. With each passing year, the town's transformation and the story of the spooky fast food night shift grew in magnitude and significance. The calf, once a symbol of abandonment, now exuded warmth and comfort, drawing people together in a spirit of camaraderie and joy. The annual Harmony Night had become a national event, known for its heartwarming celebrations and its ability to bridge divides and heal wounds. One year, as Harmony Night approached, the town received an unexpected guest. A renowned filmmaker, fascinated by the story of the abandoned fast food joint and its remarkable transformation, had heard about the town and its annual festival. Intrigued by the tale of redemption and unity, the filmmaker decided to create a documentary capturing the essence of the town's journey. The documentary crew arrived, and their presence only heightened the excitement surrounding Harmony Night. The townspeople enthusiastically shared their experiences and perspectives, pouring their hearts into the project. They worked together to create an unforgettable experience for everyone involved, a testament to the power of community and the resilience of the human spirit. On the night of the Harmony Night celebration, the entire town was abuzz with anticipation. People from all walks of life gathered beneath the twinkling stars, lanterns illuminating the sky as a testament to the light that had emerged from the darkness. The atmosphere was filled with laughter, music, and a sense of belonging that transcended age, background, and history. As the documentary played on a large screen set up in the town square, emotions ran high. Tears mixed with laughter as the stories of transformation, courage, and compassion were shared on screen. The film captured the essence of the town's journey, the evolution of the spooky night shift tale, from a source of fear to one of inspiration. As the film concluded, the filmmaker stepped forward to address the crowd. With a smile, they announced that the documentary would be screened in theaters across the country and beyond, spreading the message of hope and unity far and wide. The townspeople erupted in cheers, knowing that their story would touch the lives of countless others. In the years that followed, the documentary garnered critical acclaim, its message of transformation resonating with audiences around the world. The town itself continued to thrive not only as a living embodiment of its own tale, but also as a hub for those seeking inspiration and a sense of connection. And so, the story of the spooky fast food night shift reached its happiest ending, a tale of a town and its people who, through courage, compassion, and community, had rewritten their narrative, turning a chilling legend into a beacon of hope. As the years rolled on, the memory of that once spooky night faded, replaced by the enduring legacy of a united community and the reminder that every ending can be a new beginning. In a small, quiet town nestled between rolling hills and dense forests stood an old McDonald's restaurant known as McBurger Junction, over the years, it had become a local legend, whispered about in hushed tones by the townspeople. The stories circulating about the place were shrouded in mystery and an eerie ambiance that sent shivers down anyone's spine. The restaurant had fallen into disrepair, its once vibrant golden arches now faded and rusted. The windows were cracked and the neon signs flickered sporadically casting an unsettling glow on the deserted parking lot. Inside, the air was heavy with an inexplicable sense of foreboding. One foggy evening, a group of adventurous teenagers decided to venture into the abandoned McBurger Junction. Led by Alex, a brave and curious soul, they hoped to uncover the truth behind the unsettling rumors. As they entered, the temperature seemed to drop and the floorboards creaked beneath their hesitant footsteps. Ignoring the eerie silence, they explored the desolate dining area. 
Tattered, faded menus still adorned the walls, and a lone, cracked mirror reflected their anxious faces. The group moved cautiously through the dimly lit corridors, discovering a hidden basement door that seemed to beckon them downward. With a shared glance, they descended into the abyss below. The basement was damp and cold, illuminated only by their feeble flashlight beams. Their hearts raced as they stumbled upon remnants of forgotten employee uniforms and abandoned cooking equipment. Strangely, a collection of ancient, grease-stained Happy Meal toys was scattered across a dusty shelf, as if frozen in time. As they continued their exploration, they stumbled upon an old storage room. Among the discarded boxes, they found a locked freezer. Fueled by a mix of curiosity and unease, they managed to pry the door open. Inside, they were met with a chilling sight. Rows of frozen, decaying food items, seemingly untouched by time. A whispering wind seemed to sweep through the room, carrying an otherworldly voice that murmured incomprehensible words. Panic set in, and the group struggled to escape the suffocating grip of the freezer. The door slammed shut behind them, leaving them trapped in an icy darkness. Their flashlight beams flickered and died out, leaving them in total darkness. The temperature plummeted, and they could feel an unsettling presence closing in on them. Shadows danced across the walls, and ghostly figures materialized from the frozen mist, wearing faded McDonald's uniforms. The figures moved with unnatural grace, their hollow eyes fixated on the terrified teenagers. Desperate and trembling, Alex and the others tried to communicate, but their words were lost in the frigid air. As the ghostly apparitions drew closer, memories and voices from the past echoed through the frozen air. It was as if the souls of former employees were trapped in an endless loop of serving, cooking, and cleaning. Just when the group felt all hope was lost, a distant sound pierced through the chilling atmosphere, the jingling of keys. Suddenly, the freezer door swung open and a warm golden light spilled in. A figure dressed in a pristine McDonald's uniform stood before them, holding a tray of steaming fresh burgers and fries. With a gesture, the figure beckoned them to follow. As they did, the freezer transformed into a vibrant, bustling McDonald's restaurant, reminiscent of its glory days. The ghostly apparitions faded away, and the eerie ambiance gave way to a sense of comfort and familiarity. They sat down to enjoy the hot meal, and the figure in the uniform smiled kindly at them. With a knowing look, the figure whispered, Some things never truly leave this place. They linger, forever serving, forever haunted. As the teenagers savored the taste of the food, they felt a strange connection to the restaurant's past, as if they had become part of its history. As they left the restaurant, the golden arches glowed with a renewed vibrancy. The fog lifted, revealing a town that had been touched by the mysterious and the supernatural. The stories of McBurger Junction continued to circulate, but now they were tinged with a hint of wonder and reverence for the past that dwelled within its walls. Over time, the tale of the haunted McBurger Junction became more than just a local legend. It spread through the town and beyond, drawing the attention of paranormal enthusiasts, urban explorers, and curious travelers from far and wide. People flocked to the once forgotten restaurant, eager to experience its eerie charm for themselves. Word of the supernatural encounter in the freezer spread like wildfire, and the figure in the McDonald's uniform became an enigmatic symbol of the restaurant's haunting allure. Some believed the figure was a benevolent spirit, guiding lost souls to a sense of closure and peace. Others thought it was a lingering presence, forever trapped between the worlds of the living and the beyond. Entrepreneurs capitalized on the growing fascination with the story, setting up ghost tours and hosting themed events at the McBurger Junction. People came to witness the flickering lights, the strange noises, and the sense of otherworldly energy that seemed to envelop the place. Even skeptics were left questioning their beliefs after spending a night inside its walls. As the years passed, 
the town found a strange kind of harmony with the haunting. McBurger Junction became a unique and eerie attraction, breathing new life into the once forgotten locale. The restaurant's fame reached such heights that it even caught the attention of a documentary filmmaker who wanted to capture the essence of the haunting on camera. The documentary crew arrived at McBurger Junction, armed with cameras, equipment, and skepticism. They set up their gear, determined to capture any evidence of the supernatural. As they delved deeper into the restaurant's history and interviewed locals, they began to sense a shift in the atmosphere. During one particularly chilling night, as they wandered through the dimly lit corridors, strange occurrences began to unfold. Lights flickered in patterns that seemed impossible to explain, and whispers echoed through the air. The crew's once skeptical demeanor began to waver, replaced by a growing sense of unease. While filming in the basement, they uncovered old employee records and testimonials that painted a more detailed picture of the lives once intertwined with McBurger Junction. The crew members couldn't help but feel a deep empathy for the spirits that seemed to linger, forever tied to their roles in the restaurant's past. One night, as they were filming in the storage room where the frozen apparitions had appeared, the crew captured a remarkable moment on camera. The figure in the McDonald's uniform manifested before their eyes, holding a tray of fresh food just as in the legends. The camera's lens captured the essence of the moment, the warmth and familiarity juxtaposed against the eerie surroundings. The documentary was released to critical acclaim, sparking even more interest in McBurger Junction. It became a catalyst for discussions about the afterlife, the nature of hauntings, and the connections we forge with places and memories. The figure in the McDonald's uniform became an emblem of both the mysterious and the sentimental. As the years went on, McBurger Junction continued to stand as a testament to the enduring power of stories, the fascination with the unknown, and the complexities of the human experience. The restaurant became a place of pilgrimage for those seeking answers, closure, or simply a taste of the uncanny. And so, the haunting of McBurger Junction endured, forever intertwining the realms of the living and the spectral, a reminder that even in the most ordinary of places, there can exist extraordinary tales waiting to be uncovered. Generations passed, and McBurger Junction continued to captivate the imagination of people young and old. The once quiet town found itself transformed into a hub of curiosity and intrigue its economy benefiting from the influx of visitors seeking a glimpse into the otherworldly. The legend of the figure in the McDonald's uniform persisted, evolving over time into a symbol of hope and connection between the living and the departed. With each passing year, new stories emerged, stories of visitors encountering the friendly apparition during their meals, of families gathering at the restaurant to commemorate lost loved ones, and of individuals finding solace in the idea that even in death, there could be a sense of purpose and continuation. One particularly cold winter, a woman named Sarah arrived in town. Drawn by the tales she had heard, she hoped to uncover the truth behind the mysteries of McBurger Junction. Unlike others, she wasn't interested in documenting or commercializing the haunting. She sought a deeper understanding of the spirits that seemed to linger within. Sarah's determination led her to research local archives, dig into historical records, and listen to the anecdotes of elderly town residents who remembered the restaurant in its heyday. She discovered that the figure in the McDonald's uniform was rumored to be the spirit of an employee named Walter, who had dedicated his life to his work at the restaurant. Through meticulous research and dedication, Sarah uncovered the truth behind Walter's story. She learned that he had been a hard-working and kind-hearted man who had forged deep connections with his co-workers and the customers he served. His legacy extended beyond the restaurant's walls, as he had also been involved in various community projects and charitable initiatives. Intrigued by Walter's history, Sarah sought to uncover the reasons behind his lingering presence. She believed that his devotion to his job and the bonds he had formed were the key factors. 
With the help of local mediums and paranormal experts, she set out to communicate with Walter's spirit, hoping to provide closure and allow him to move on. Late one night, in the dimly lit dining area of McBurger Junction, Sarah attempted to reach out to Walter. She spoke softly, sharing the stories she had uncovered and expressing her desire to help him find peace. As she did, a warmth filled the air, and the familiar figure in the McDonald's uniform materialized before her. Through whispers of wind and flickers of light, Walter's spirit conveyed his gratitude for her efforts. He spoke of his attachment to the restaurant, the memories that bound him to the place, and the comfort he found in the visitors who came seeking solace. With Sarah's encouragement, he began to understand that his impact extended beyond the physical realm. As their conversation continued, a soft glow enveloped Walter's form. The air seemed to shimmer with a sense of resolution, and a peaceful smile graced Walter's face. With a final nod of appreciation, he faded away, his presence lingering as a warm and comforting energy. News of Sarah's encounter with Walter spread throughout the town, deepening the bond between the living and the departed. The haunting took on a new dimension, transforming into a shared journey of understanding and acceptance. The restaurant's allure remained, but it was no longer defined solely by its eerie reputation. It was now a place of connection, reflection, and the intertwining of past and present. And so, the legend of McBurger Junction continued to evolve, leaving an indelible mark on the town and those who visited. It served as a reminder that even in the realm of the supernatural, there could be stories of compassion, connection, and the enduring power of the human spirit. As the years went by, the town's relationship with McBurger Junction grew stronger, rooted in the shared history between the living and the spirits that lingered within its walls. The once abandoned restaurant had become a place of pilgrimage, not just for thrill seekers, but for those seeking a deeper connection with the mysteries of life and death. The local community embraced the restaurant's newfound identity. Each year, they organized a Harvest of Memories event, where families gathered to share stories of loved ones who had passed away, finding comfort in the idea that their spirits might be present in the restaurant's atmosphere. People came with photographs, mementos, and heartfelt anecdotes, creating an atmosphere of remembrance and unity. The legend of Walter, the figure in the McDonald's uniform, continued to inspire acts of kindness and compassion. The town residents formed a volunteer group that focused on community service, just as Walter had during his lifetime. They took on initiatives to help the less fortunate, support local schools, and care for the environment, channeling the spirit of Walter's generosity into tangible actions. Word of the town's unique relationship with McBurger Junction spread far beyond its borders, attracting researchers, spiritualists, and individuals seeking solace from all corners of the world. The stories of encounters with the spirits were no longer just about chills and thrills. They were about finding a sense of closure, healing, and understanding in the presence of the unknown. Sarah, who had initially arrived seeking answers, had become an integral part of the town's story. She continued to research the history of the restaurant and the stories of those who had encountered its supernatural presence. Her efforts led her to write a book that explored the intersection of the living and the departed, using McBurger Junction as a powerful example. The release of the book sparked even more interest in the town and its unique connection to the otherworldly. Sarah's work helped change the perception of the haunting from something new and frightening to a source of inspiration and hope. The town became a destination for those seeking a deeper understanding of life's mysteries and the possibility of connections that transcended the physical realm. Years turned into decades, and McBurger Junction stood as a living testament to the enduring bonds between the living and the departed. The legends that had once sent shivers down spines had transformed into tales of unity, compassion, and the eternal nature of human connections. The town had embraced its history, both mundane and supernatural, 
and found a way to turn it into a source of strength and inspiration. Visitors continued to come to McBurger Junction, not just for the thrill of a ghostly encounter, but to experience the unique atmosphere that had grown out of the intertwining of past and present. The old restaurant had become a bridge between two worlds, a place where memories and spirits coexisted in a harmony that defied explanation. And so, the story of McBurger Junction continued to evolve, reminding all who heard it that even in the most unexpected places, there was room for magic, connection, and the ever-present mystery of what lies beyond our understanding. As decades passed, the legacy of McBurger Junction continued to thrive, becoming an integral part of the town's identity. The restaurant's transformation from a forgotten relic to a beacon of connection and understanding had left an indelible mark on everyone who encountered its unique story. The town's residents and those who visited held a deep respect for the past and the spirits that resided within the establishment. The Harvest of Memories event had grown into a cherished tradition, attracting people from all walks of life who sought a space to remember their loved ones in a setting of shared history and acceptance. Each year, the restaurant's interior was transformed into a sanctuary of remembrance, adorned with photographs, candles, and heartfelt messages. The volunteer group that had formed in honor of Walter's legacy continued to flourish, becoming an essential part of the town's fabric. Their acts of kindness had a ripple effect that extended far beyond the town's borders, inspiring others to follow in their footsteps and carry the spirit of generosity into their own communities. Sarah's book had become a timeless piece of literature, cherished for its portrayal of the human experience, the supernatural, and the delicate balance between the two. It served as a beacon of hope for those who sought to understand the mysteries of existence and find meaning in the connections that transcended life and death. With time, the town and McBurger Junction story became known on a global scale. Scholars, writers, and artists were drawn to the unique blend of history, spirituality, and community that the town embodied. The restaurant itself became a symbol of unity, reminding people that even in a world filled with uncertainty, there were places where the threads connecting past, present, and future could be woven together. As technology advanced and the world changed, the story of McBurger Junction remained a constant, a testament to the enduring nature of human curiosity and the bonds that could be formed across the boundaries of the unknown. The restaurant's fame continued to grow, yet its essence remained true to its origins and ordinary place that had been transformed into something extraordinary through the power of shared stories and collective experiences. And so, the haunting of McBurger Junction evolved into a tale of beauty, unity, and the exploration of the mysteries that lie just beyond our understanding. The town and its unique relationship with the supernatural continued to stand as a reminder that the human spirit's capacity for connection, compassion, and growth was boundless, and that even in the face of the mysterious and the unexplained, there was always room for hope. With the passing years, the town's bonds with McBurger Junction only grew stronger, and the heartwarming tale of connection and unity that had unfolded there inspired countless individuals around the world. As the town became a center of compassion and understanding, its impact extended beyond its borders, igniting a global movement of goodwill and kindness. In recognition of its profound influence, the town decided to revitalize McBurger Junction while preserving its rich history. With the help of donations and volunteers, the restaurant was meticulously restored to its former glory, while retaining the enchanting atmosphere that had captured the hearts of so many. The golden arches gleamed once more, but this time they symbolized not just a fast food chain, but a beacon of hope and togetherness. The reopening of McBurger Junction was met with a joyous celebration that united locals and visitors alike. The Harvest of Memories event continued to be an annual tradition, 
but it was now accompanied by festivities that celebrated life, community, and the enduring connections that bound people across time and space. The restaurant's interior was adorned with photographs and stories that paid tribute to the spirits of those who had once worked and dined there. It became a living memorial, a place where generations could gather to remember their ancestors and share stories that spanned the ages. The figure in the McDonald's uniform, Walter, was celebrated as a symbol of generosity, and his legacy continued to inspire acts of kindness and charity. Sarah's book remained an influential piece of literature, but it also led to the establishment of a foundation dedicated to fostering compassion and understanding among people from all walks of life. The foundation organized workshops, seminars, and community events that focused on the power of shared stories, empathy, and connection. With the revitalization of McBurger Junction, the town experienced a renaissance of sorts. Tourism flourished, and businesses thrived as visitors flocked to experience the magic that had transformed an ordinary place into an extraordinary one. The town's economy boomed, allowing for further investment in community initiatives and projects that enhanced the quality of life for its residents. Years turned into decades, and the happy ending that had unfolded at McBurger Junction continued to shine as a testament to the enduring human spirit. The story of the town's transformation from a forgotten place to a hub of compassion and unity served as a beacon of hope for a world that often grappled with division and uncertainty. McBurger Junction became more than a ghostly legend. It became a living testament to the potential for positive change that existed within each person and community. And so, the restaurant story continued to remind the world that even in the face of the unknown, there was always room for connection, growth, and the pursuit of a brighter future together. In a quiet suburban town, nestled among familiar stores and cafes, stood a seemingly unassuming Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC Restaurant. Its red and white signage illuminated the street, inviting customers in with the promise of finger lickin' good food. But beneath the tantalizing aroma of fried chicken and the cheerful atmosphere, a chilling tale was about to unfold. It was a rainy evening when a group of friends decided to grab a quick dinner at the local KFC. Mark's, Sarah, Ellen High Spirits. The restaurant was relatively empty, save for a few other diners scattered across the booths. As they settled into their seats, they exchanged stories and jokes, eagerly waiting for their orders to arrive. The lights above flickered occasionally, casting eerie shadows on the walls but they paid it no mind. However, as the minutes ticked by, an unsettling feeling began to creep over the group. It was as though the atmosphere had grown heavy, stifling their laughter and conversation. Their orders finally arrived, and they dug into their meals, hoping to shake off the growing unease. But just as they were about to take their first bite, a soft whisper drifted through the air. The group exchanged puzzled glances, each one trying to pinpoint the source of the sound. Did you guys hear that? Emily asked, her voice quivering slightly. The others nodded, a sense of unease settling deeper within them. They attributed it to their imagination, or perhaps the background noise of the rain outside. Determined to brush it off, they resumed eating, but the restaurant's atmosphere had turned palpably tense. The lights continued to flicker, their intensity now fluctuating dramatically. A cold breeze seemed to sweep through the restaurant, even though the doors were tightly closed. The whispers grew more persistent, gradually evolving into indistinct murmurs that seemed to echo from all directions. As the group glanced around nervously, they noticed something unsettling. The other diners had fallen eerily silent, their eyes fixated on their food or staring blankly ahead. No one seemed to be reacting to the strange occurrences except for Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily. Just as they were about to suggest leaving, the air suddenly turned icy. 
causing their breath to fog in front of them. The whispers crescendoed into an anguished chorus of voices, a cacophony that seemed to fill the very air they breathed. Panic began to grip the friends, their attempts to stand up and leave thwarted by an unseen force. Desperation pushed them to shout over the ghostly voices, but their cries were swallowed by the din. The lights overhead shattered, plunging the restaurant into darkness. The group felt a disorienting sensation, as if they were being pulled in different directions, their bodies immobilized by a sinister power. Just as suddenly as it had begun, the chaos ceased. The lights flickered back on, and the other diners seemed to snap out of their trance-like state, resuming their meals as though nothing had happened. But Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily were left shaken and bewildered. Their terrifying encounter with the supernatural forever etched into their memories. They rushed out of the KFC, their hearts racing, and minds struggling to comprehend what had transpired. Rain soaked their clothes as they huddled together on the sidewalk, trying to make sense of the inexplicable horror they had just experienced. From that day on, the group never set foot inside that KFC again, the memory of that fateful night forever haunting their dreams. The unassuming restaurant had become a chilling reminder that even the most mundane places could hold secrets that were best left undisturbed. Months passed since that harrowing night at the KFC and Mark. Sarah, Alex, and Emily tried their best to move on from the terrifying experience. They shared their story with family and friends, but most people dismissed it as a product of their imagination or an elaborate prank. Nevertheless, the fear they had felt that night lingered in their minds, a constant reminder of the inexplicable and otherworldly. Despite their attempts to move forward, each of them found themselves plagued by nightmares, reliving the whispers, the darkness, and the paralyzing fear they had encountered that night. They struggled to find solace, seeking answers from experts in the paranormal and supernatural, hoping to find an explanation for what they had experienced. One day, as they were attending a local paranormal convention, they stumbled upon a speaker who claimed to have knowledge about the restaurant's history. Intrigued, they approached him, sharing their story and their need for closure. The man, a historian with a fascination for the supernatural, revealed that the KFC building had once been an old, abandoned theater, known for its eerie performances and stories of unexplained events. According to the historian, the theater had a dark history of hosting plays and shows that delved into the macabre and the occult. The whispers they had heard that night could have been the echoes of forgotten actors, trapped in a liminal space between the worlds of the living and the dead. The historian suggested that these spirits could have been awakened by the group's presence and their shared fear, creating a temporary rift between the realms. With newfound information, Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily decided to confront their fears head-on. They gathered their courage and returned to the KFC, this time during daylight hours. The restaurant appeared much like any other, the scent of fried chicken filling the air and the bustling chatter of customers creating a lively atmosphere. Approaching the counter, they inquired about the building's history, and the manager confirmed the story of the old theater. With the manager's permission, they were granted access to the back areas of the restaurant, including the space that had once been the theater's stage. As they explored the space, a sense of trepidation enveloped them. They stood on the old stage, imagining the performances that had taken place here, wondering if the spirits they had encountered were still lingering. After a few moments, they decided to conduct a makeshift essence, hoping to communicate with any lingering entities and offer them peace. Their hands joined in a circle. They closed their eyes and focused their intentions on reaching out to the spirits. As they whispered questions into the void, a faint breeze rustled through the room, and a soft, almost musical response seemed to resonate in the air. Tears welled in their eyes as they felt a mixture of sadness, regret, and longing emanating from the unseen presence. With the essence completed, the group felt a sense of closure they hadn't anticipated. 
Whether it was their collective energy, their willingness to listen, or the passage of time, something seemed to have shifted. As they left the KFC that day, they realized that while their encounter had been terrifying, it had also been an opportunity to bridge the gap between the living and the departed. The group remained forever changed by their experience, no longer haunted by nightmares or unrelenting fear. They had faced the unknown head-on and emerged with a newfound appreciation for the complexity of the supernatural world and the mysteries it held. And while their story was met with skepticism by some from Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily, the KFC would forever remain a place of both horror and healing a testament to the power of facing one's deepest fears. Over time, Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily found themselves drawn together by the bond forged through their shared ordeal. The haunting experience at the KFC had not only brought them closer to the mysteries of the supernatural, but also to each other. They formed a tight-knit support system, understanding that their journey was a unique one, and only they could truly comprehend the depth of their emotions. As the years went by, their interest in the paranormal grew stronger. They attended more conventions, studied ancient texts, and delved deeper into the realm of the supernatural. Their mission evolved from seeking closure for themselves to helping others who had encountered unexplainable phenomena. They formed a team dedicated to investigating haunted locations, offering solace to those who were frightened or bewildered by the unknown. Their reputation as empathetic investigators who respected both the living and the departed spread far and wide. They were invited to haunted sites across the country, providing their expertise and a sympathetic ear to those who had stories to share. They didn't just focus on the horror, they aimed to understand the stories behind the spirits, to give them a voice, and to help both the living and the dead find peace. Among the many cases they encountered, one stood out the haunted KFC. Moved by their own experience and their desire to bring closure to others, they returned to the very restaurant that had once been a source of terror. This time, they arrived not as victims, but as guides. Gathered in the same room where they had conducted the essence years before, Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily held another circle. But this time, their intention was to help any lingering spirits find their way to the other side. With empathy in their hearts and words of comfort on their lips, they spoke to the unknown presence, offering a pathway to release. As they concluded their session, the atmosphere seemed to change. The air grew lighter, the room brighter. A sense of serenity settled upon them, and they felt as if a weight had been lifted from their shoulders. Whether it was a product of their intention or the passage of time, the KFC felt different not just for them, but for the spirits they had encountered. From that point on, the KFC seemed to lose its eerie aura. The lights stopped flickering, the cold breeze ceased, and the whispers faded away. Customers continued to enjoy their meals without any sense of unease. The restaurant, once a place of haunting, had now become a symbol of transformation and healing. Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily continued their journey, offering their services to others and uncovering more about the mysteries of the supernatural world. Their shared experience at the KFC had shaped them into compassionate and fearless investigators, helping both the living and the departed find solace and resolution. And though they couldn't erase the memory of that terrifying night, they had turned it into a catalyst for positive change, proving that even the darkest experiences could lead to light. As the years went on, the team's reputation as paranormal investigators grew even stronger. They were featured in documentaries, appeared on television shows, and were sought after by people from all walks of life who needed help understanding and dealing with the unexplainable. Their work extended beyond haunted locations. They began researching and documenting various supernatural phenomena, from cryptids to ghostly apparitions to unexplained energy sources. Their dedication to understanding the unknown garnered them respect, 
within both the paranormal and scientific communities. With their continued success, they expanded their team by welcoming new members who shared their passion for exploring the supernatural. Each member brought unique skills and perspectives, enhancing the team's ability to approach cases with both empathy and critical thinking. Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily remained at the core of the group, using their own experience as a guiding force. They never forgot the fear they had felt that night in the KFC, but they had transformed it into a force for good a motivation to provide answers, comfort, and closure to those who found themselves facing the inexplicable. Their work wasn't without challenges. Skeptics and critics were always present, ready to dismiss their findings as mere superstition. Yet, they persevered, driven by the knowledge that their investigations had often brought peace to the tormented and clarity to the confused. One day, they received an email from a woman named Lily. She described a series of unsettling events occurring in an old mansion on the outskirts of town. Intrigued, the team agreed to take on the case. As they entered the mansion, they were met with an atmosphere thick with tension and an otherly chill that sent shivers down their spines. The investigation led them through dimly lit hallways, hidden chambers, and long forgotten rooms. They encountered inexplicable cold spots, heard faint whispers, and even captured strange apparitions on their equipment. But unlike their previous cases, this one seemed to be more than just the presence of lingering spirits. Through diligent research and hours of careful investigation, the team uncovered a tragic history of a family torn apart by betrayal and greed. The mansion had been a site of dark rituals and hidden secrets, with the past echoing into the present. The negative energy trapped within its walls was the result of centuries of pain and anguish. Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily knew that their role went beyond just uncovering the truth. They reached out to the spirits, offering understanding, empathy, and a chance to find closure. With each interaction, the energy in the mansion seemed to shift. The temperature normalized, the whispers grew fainter, and a sense of calm began to replace the unease. After weeks of intense work, they held a final ceremony to release the trapped energy. With the help of the spirits they had communicated with, they channeled their intentions into breaking the cycle of suffering that had plagued the mansion for generations. As the ceremony concluded, they felt a profound sense of peace sweep over the place a feeling of release and healing that they had never experienced before. Their success in resolving the haunting of the mansion brought them a renewed sense of purpose. Their journey, which had started with a terrifying experience at a KFC, had evolved into a lifelong mission to bridge the gap between the seen and the unseen, the living and the departed. They continued to explore, investigate, and heal, knowing that their unique connection to the supernatural had the power to change lives and bring light to even the darkest corners of existence. In the months that followed their successful resolution of the mansion's haunting, the team found themselves faced with a challenge unlike any they had encountered before. News spread of a remote and abandoned asylum on the outskirts of town an asylum with a history shrouded in darkness, whispers of malevolent entities, and stories of patients who had vanished without a trace. Against their better judgment, Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily agreed to investigate the asylum. The moment they stepped onto the grounds, an overwhelming sense of foreboding settled over them. The air was heavy with a feeling of impending doom, and the shadows seemed to dance with a life of their own. As they ventured deeper into the decaying building, the air grew colder, and the dim light cast eerie shapes on the walls. Their equipment flickered and malfunctioned, making it difficult to gather accurate data. Whispers, distant screams, and the sound of shuffling footsteps echoed through the corridors, sending chills down their spines. Despite the unnerving atmosphere, the team pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the asylum's grim history. They discovered records detailing the mistreatment of patients, unethical experiments, 
and the tragic deaths that had occurred within its walls. The stories seemed to come to life around them, as if the building itself held onto the memories of its tormented past. In one particularly chilling room, they encountered an entity unlike any they had encountered before. A malevolent presence manifested, its presence felt more than seen. The temperature plummeted, and an oppressive aura of anger and hatred surrounded them. Their equipment went haywire, emitting static and distorted voices that seemed to mock them. Fear gnawed at their resolve, but they knew they couldn't back down. Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily rallied their strength and began a series of rituals, attempting to communicate with the entity and understand its motivations. The encounter grew increasingly intense, as if the very fabric of reality was warping around them. Just as it seemed like they were losing control of the situation, a blinding light enveloped the room. The entity's hateful energy seemed to recoil from it, and a deafening roar filled the air. The team felt an otherworldly power surround them, a force that transcended the bounds of their understanding. In a final act of desperation, they channeled their collective energy into breaking the grip of the malevolent entity. As they did, a surge of energy erupted from the center of the room, engulfing the presence in a blinding vortex. The entity's wails of anger and anguish echoed through the room, growing fainter and fainter until they were silenced. The light faded, leaving the room in a deafening silence. Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Emily stood in awe and exhaustion, their bodies trembling from the intensity of the encounter. They had faced an unimaginable force, a darkness that had consumed lives and left behind a trail of suffering. As they left the asylum, they couldn't shake the feeling that the battle wasn't truly over. They had confronted a malevolent entity, but they couldn't be sure that its influence wouldn't resurface. Yet, they also carried a sense of triumph that their dedication, courage, and compassion had allowed them to stand up against the darkest of forces. The team emerged from the asylum forever changed with a newfound understanding of the balance between the light and the shadows. Their journey had tested their limits, pushing them to confront the depths of human suffering and the resilience of the human spirit. And while the darkness had been daunting, they knew that their mission to bring understanding and healing to the supernatural world was far from over a mission they would pursue with unwavering determination and an unyielding belief in the power of empathy and light 